how much do you know about your personal finances? And how much money could you save if you knew a little more? Well, Effie Zahos is about to put you through your paces. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Nice to see you all. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. We're here to test your financial literacy. We're in a cost of living crisis, so every dollar is important. We've got to stretch those dollars. We've got to make sure we don't waste dollars. We've got to spend money wisely. So you're going to undergo a quiz today, and who better to do that than Effie Zahos, who is a financial commentator and works for CanStar. Effie, a quiz. Do you think they'll be able to do it? Well, let's hope so. School starts right now, and knowledge is power. And your time starts now. Their test covers credit card knowledge, mortgages, shopping offers, loans, superannuation, the things we encounter most days, but may not be on top of. If we're not financially savvy, then how are we going to make the most of what we have? You sure about that answer? <laughs> What the hell does that mean? Here's one of the questions they are facing. How would you go? Buy now, pay later services are often advertised as interest free, but they may charge fees. Which of the following can apply? Monthly account keeping fee, payment processing fee, late fee, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. It's my favourite question. And Effie, I should know it. Audrey, you weren't looking over at Marg's computer then, were you? Yeah, watch her, Marg. I've seen her type. Get out of here. <laughs> Who's in charge here? Here's another question. See how you go. When shopping for groceries, what's the most effective way to make sure you are getting the best price? Buy the biggest item or quantity because it's usually better value, buy the smallest item or quantity, buy the product that has the lowest unit price, buy the item that's on special. The correct answer is buy the product with the lowest unit price. Okay, looks like everyone's finished. How do you think you went? I think I went okay, but not fabulous. Jeremy, um, the super guarantee, what do you think it is? Pretty confident it's 10.5 per cent. Now the exciting So how did they go? Results have come through. 16 out of 16 21. Out of 21. Yeah. Both, oh, well, the three of you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 7. 7. Yes. Lisa, what went wrong? <laughs> I'm not financially literate. There you go. <laughs> I call her seven from now on. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 21, yes, I'm quite pleased with that. Got 15. 15, congratulations, that's good. Octo, how'd you go? 18. I think a quiz like this is just that little nudge we all need to go, hey, um, I actually didn't realise that's how a credit card works and I've got a credit card and I'm not using it correctly. Or I could do better with my home loan. This is how it works and this is how I can save more money. The rate of superannuation, I actually thought that was 10, so Jeremy, that was very insightful, but that's something I should definitely know. Jared, we should all know should what ask. super we're being paid. Yeah. <laughs> It alerted me to the fact that there's all these hidden costs to everything. Like there's these tricks, you know. Yeah, I think it just alerted me to the fact that there's so much more to know. A thousand Aussies have done this quick online quiz already and the results weren't good. 46% of Aussies failed this test. What was interesting was that males did better than females. 66% of males passed as opposed to 42%. So test yourself. Go to our website for the link to the CanStar quiz. Learn something and perhaps save yourself some money.